Hey everyone, it's Mechlo. There's a there's a lot of new stuff today. I mean, there's a lot of, of content for 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 the content mill. Uh, you might be wondering my my face is in here, and that's because I'm currently in my PJs, and I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. So um, you just you're just gonna have to to deal with it. Anyway, first thing first. Uh, today actually just released a new structure EX deck for 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 dual link speed duel specifically, zombie necromancy. Uh, which features a, a bunch of zombie cards. It truly is the year of the zombies between, you know, Maikashi and Shiranui coming back and all, all of these zombie archetypes. So, is is this going to be good enough to see play on its own? I don't know. I've never read these cards. Let, let's take a look together. Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. During your opponent's turn, you can target one zombie monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Okay, what could you special summon that like immediately benefits you if you're playing pure zombies? What's a one car that when when summon does a thing? Samurai score I think only works on normal summon, so that's not gonna be it. There's something else, I don't know. If the card is in your graveyard, you can banish one zombie monster you control, special summon this card. That's uh I don't know. It depends on the, the kind of zombie monster that you can special summon with this guy's effect. Right now I can think of too many things. I'm gonna look something up there. Yeah, if you look at the average zombie list, and this is a list that of the tournament, uh, just so we're clear on that, there's not really anything that benefits from being special from the graveyard. Of course, there's like some synergy with Vampire Sucker, which just adds the Soul Affair into a discount, you know, Deco Toka Ritzel, but I don't think that's good enough to justify play on its own. Considering that with Zombie World anything in the graveyard is a zombie, you could make the argument that you're gonna be able to summon anything, but like this requires zombie materials. Pretty sure the other zombies in this deck do, so it's not like there's anything. Like you're not gonna splash non zombie cards into your zombie deck, I don't think. Especially, I haven't read the uh, zombie skill in a while, though. I, I'm, I'm going to read it again. Alright, on to the next card in this uh, structure deck. Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. If it is special summoned... Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I take it back. This is a pretty neat combo. How are you making both of these? I guess you can just synchro climb from an 8 to a 10. That's not going to be the toughest thing ever. But yeah, uh, just a, a, a special target. That's like... Better far far, basically. Well, it has to stay in the graveyard, and if zombie decks prove to be too problematic, a lot of people are just gonna pivot to, you know, Seal Tombs, or DD Crow, or... Yeah. Uh, that's that's still... I guess that's the main gameplay, that's okay. If a monster is special summoned from the graveyard while its monster is face up on the field, you can target one of the face up monsters to negate its effect. That's fine. I, I, I guess this is the uh, main gameplay of the deck, right? That's cute. Plague Spreader, we, we've known for a while, just a self-recurring zombie. It's kind of neat. Chang-Chi the Spiridaro. It's a level 6. During the main phase, you can send one zombie from hand or deck to graveyard. How are you supposed to special this easily? That probably wise, but... Hmm. You can banish one zombie from graveyard, special summon its card, but place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. So you're supposed to, like, discard it, and another zombie, and then special it, and then... Special Plague? I don't know. That's probably like a couple of cute combos you can do with this. Immortal Dragon. During a main phase, you can send one zombie monster from deck to your graveyard. If you do, this card's level becomes a difference between its original and the sent monsters. I don't know what this means. I'm not gonna do math. It's too early in the morning for that. When your zombie monster is destroyed by battle by scanning your graveyard, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. That's a decent effect, I think. Yeah, uh, it's a synchro tuner, so maybe it's part of your synchro laddering. That's a 6. So you make this with like plague plus a4, right? And then what? I don't know, I can't figure out the combos just yet, but that they, they do exist. They're probably not as bad as I think they are. Pro Tengu, this card in your possession is drawn by your card effect and set in your graveyard or special summoned from the graveyard. They get one attack position, you also control destroys it. Okay, that's another target for the zombie dragon lord, I guess, but not 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 as good. Although it requires less setup, but I don't think it's as good. The rest of the cards are just reprints. Um I don't know how I feel about that. Is it gonna be good? I honestly can't tell. Am I gonna buy it? 
maybe one or two copies should be enough. I don't expect, maybe this is better than I think it is. Hmm, I'll see. Okay, so on top of that, I'm going to talk about the Rush uh, stuff later, but on top of that, there is a new skill that you can get uh, for this deck specifically. During this duel, you cannot no more special any monsters from hand or deck except for level 4 or lower dark zombie type monsters. No mentions of the extra deck whatsoever, but this cuts off like Shiranui combos, because they're all fire. Al although I guess you can play Solitaire because you can still summon like zero uh, defense tuners. Anyway, pulling a pet can be used once per duel. Oh wow, that's surprisingly tame. Send up to two level 6 or lower zombie type monsters from your hand to your graveyard. Set one zombie reborn from outside your deck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Send one red eye zombie dragon lord from extra deck to your graveyard. That monster can be special summoned. Until the end of your next turn, you cannot special summon level 7 or higher monsters from extra deck or graveyard except for synchro monsters. What does uh, zombie reborn do? Okay, zombie reborn is literally just a monster reborn, but that also requires you to banish a monster with the same name from a deck or extra deck, so you need several copies of the structure deck. Amazing. Can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into your deck if you do set this card. Can use one effect per turn only once that turn. Okay. You send two zombies from deck to grave. You get the zombie reborn. You don't have to send the red eyes zombie dragon, but I think it's probably the best thing to send. Maybe Scumbo is easier than I thought. I don't know, I still I'm still gonna try out the deck and see other people play it before I, I pick it up myself, you know? And know there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, rush stuff. I'm gonna talk about this first. Archfiend Soldier Bundle. It's it's fiend support, and it's fiend support conveniently timed for the uh, rerun of the raw events. Which um, if you're not keeping up with the rush dual meta, like the the uh, raw deck is currently the best thing that you can be playing. So that's. Uh, that's a bit cynical, you know, of me to be like, well, that's that's well timed, but it's only one bundle, right? Well, there's a couple of skills too. No holding back, beat of the superstar skill can only be used if the only monsters with 1400 or more attack in your deck are psychic type monsters with zero defense. Okay, at the beginning of your turn, from turn two onward, you will no longer be able to resist the urge to become the ultimate duelist. Wow. On your turn to onward, during the turn you summoned a level 7 monster. It has to be your turn to, not just turn 2. Right? No. Your turn from turn 2 onward. From your turn to... Okay. Well, I I'm guessing you can activate this turn 1. But you can activate this starting from turn 2. Not to all just turn 2. Uh, the, the, the overall turn 2. One level 2 on a psychic type effect monster with 500 or less attack, you're going to be out of your hand. That's it. That's a bit disappointing. Death Doom Requiem. Requiem. Why do I say that's Requiem? The skill can only be used if the only monsters except level 4 monsters in your deck are fiend type. Place up to 2 level 7 or higher light attribute fiend type effect monsters in your hand on your field in face up defense position. There can only be one of each level. So 1 level 7, 1 level 8. Or 1 level 8, or 1 level 7. When a monster placed on this with this effect is face up, its battle position can only be changed with a card effect. It's it's worse than the previous Roa skill that just allows you to turn anything on your field to like level 5 or higher for the uh, Royal Rebels effects. This skill can be used if the only monsters in your deck are Fiend type or Psychic type. Return two monsters except level 4 monsters with different types from your graveyard to your deck. Once face up light attribute or psychic type monster on your field, this turn the chosen monster can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of Heavy Metal or Shining Superstar. Now this is asking you to build a hybrid being psychic type deck. I'm not sure if this is uh mm. You know what this one has potential because it only asks you to return two monsters with different types. You have to play Fiend and Psychics, but there's like enough decent generic Psychic monsters and Fiend monsters that I could see this being played for like Prima Gitana, Turbo, you know? I, I can see this one having potential. And a couple of sleeves and playmats we don't care about. And then uh, this pickup box which uh, showcases Quasar, Red Dragon, uh, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend and TG. And no indication of whether that's going to be new 
Support or not. Although, if I refresh the page, maybe... No, oh, post refresh, there's still nothing. Oh well. And last but not least, the Super Mini Box for Rush, uh, which kind of scared... Uh, okay, this is also time to coincide with the uh, return of the, the Roa event, and there's a bunch of, like, zombie and a uh, fiend and uh, psychic stuff. Wait, zombie stuff? That looks kind of based. I, I never did read the, this cards before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it tonight. But, like, how many packs is this going to be? This doesn't seem like it's going to be that many packs, so it should still be affordable. But, like, if you want to play z uh, zombies and fiends and maybe even psychics, I feel like you can't really skip this. Also, Thunder. There's some Thunder support in there for some reason. Alright, I'm going to read each and every one of these cards and tell you if, it, if it's good or not. A Dark Doom Dread Ruler. It's in one zombie type, more supplemental graveyard, gains a thousand attack. And then burns your opponent. That's the zombie type boss monster. It's okay. It, it looks fine. You know, it's a 25, goes grow to a 35. That's good, you know. I, I, I feel like that's a decent enough card. That's, pr that's gonna be like good. I don't know if there's any generic skill that this could use. It's fine. Royal Rebels do metal. During the turn, you normal summon this card by tributing two level seven or higher fiend type monsters. Oh, that's why this skill is this way. Okay. Destroy all face up monsters in your opponent's field. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total original level of the monsters destroyed by its effect times 100. So if you destroy a maximum monster, uh, is it like. Is it is it a thousand burn damage or is it the sum of. I don't know, man. Is this worth playing over the current Aurora skilled slash deck? I don't know, it's a, it's a big body. It's a big body. Kind of hate that we're getting support for what is the best deck in the format already. But then again, it takes this uh, deck to a new direction. So, mixed feelings overall. Esperate the Smashing Superstar. This one is already available in like a scale specifically, right? It just pops two monsters on the opponent's field. That's cool. Up to two, so you can still pop maximums. Fine. You know, it's fine. On to the SRs. Uh, the guard. Shovel three monsters from graveyard into the deck to negate an attack. That's kinda that's kinda wow, that's kinda neat. It is really neat. Holy shit. There are so many decks where this is like better than uh, the, the music one that just negates an attack if one monster is on your field being targeted by an attack. No, I think this one's good. I think this is a good card. I could definitely see like decks like Cybers uh, playing this. Probably a couple of others too. It, it does have a hefty cast and you're not probably going to be able to activate this than one. Unless you're playing Beyond Curiosity. So that's, that's fine. Then the Gazelle, if your opponent has no cards in hand, shuffle two monsters from your graveyard into your deck. Choose one face-up monster on the field, if it attacks the defense person and monster is turned into piercing battle damage. Okay, um, why is this limited 3? <laughs> I guess this is like, because the, the Thunder deck is already playing piercing samurai, right? This one is like, as more attack than piercing samurai. Can target any other card, piercing samurai, uh, due to how the deck is built, can only target itself. And it shuffles resources back into the deck. Yeah, I guess. Not like the deck is playing any limited 3s. Wait. Is the big gazelle limited 3? The Thunder Dragon one? I don't know. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Alright, uh, Crisis Averted, everyone. This one is good. Rogue of Archfiend. Wait, this is a Dark Fiend. This is light. This is a Dark Fiend. Oh my god. One face-up fiend type monster from Pion to Grave. Up to two face-up fiend type on your field cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effect this turn. We get it! We hate widespread ruin and you know it, Konami! <laughs> I don't think this one is particularly good. Future Diviner. Oh, it, it just cycles. That's it? It just cycles. Royal Rebels Phaser. If you have a face up level 7 or higher, fiend type monster in fields in a face up card from Fjord to Grave. And specials another one in face up defense position so you can set up. Uh, this thing. Yeah, it's fine. I guess it. I guess it's kind of neat. You know, I guess it's kind of cute. It's fine. It's probably going to see play in, in this deck. But I don't know if it's going to see play in the regular one. And then again, is this just a sort of free monster reborn that can serve an extent? I don't know. 
I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's better than I give it credit for. I think it's fine. Clapping Thunder. This one is great. This is a good card. This is a pretty good card. You're gonna need it for Thunders. God damn it. Samba Zombie Ryo. It's a 1500 attack zombie that looks funny. Crawling Torso. It, it's a zombie revive. What? Do we have zombies with zero attack? I guess this one now. Cool. Peace Order. That's funny. That's a psychic with 1500. Endor. Uh, what card is this referring to? I do not know. And then there's a uh, weak zombie so you can get back with crawling torso. Uh, weak zombie that you can get back with crawling torso. Weak zombie that you can get back with crawling torso. And then the thunder beetles. Which are not good. But are very very funny. Oh it only requires one base up thunder type monster in your field. It prevents you from dying. But then again, if you're playing against Royal Rebels, you don't have a field anyway. And if you're playing against anything else, it's not like this is gonna change much? Question mark? I don't know. Mixed feelings on this overall. I feel like this could probably become its own deck and this. Zombies don't seem too bad either, because you can just recycle stuff. But like, there's only one zombie boss monster. You can't really build a deck with only one boss monster, right? But more importantly, I don't want Rush Duels to keep getting super mini boxes, so I'm not gonna buy into this at all. Even if it turns out to be like meta defining, it'll be fine. I'll just play stuff from the previous mini box. And uh, I guess I guess that'll be it for for today's links and video. Uh, overall, I'm looking forward to the Dumby stuff in in, in uh, speed duels. Not necessarily looking forward to any of the new stuff in Rush Duels. Let me know what you think though, let me know if, if I'm missing something crucial for either speed or rush. What do you think the zombie- how good do you think the zombie uh, speed duel deck is going to be? Like the red eyes zombie dragon lord deck is going to be? I think it's kind of cool. I have no idea how to play the deck but it definitely intrigues me as does every single zombie type strategy these days. Anyway, uh, th thanks for watching the video. Make sure to comment, let me know what you're looking most forward to. Cyber Angels video is coming soon, I promise. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you guys and gals and non-binary pals next time.